guys in this video we will talk about work from home jobs for stay at home moms in india now with lockdown a lot of us are facing pay cuts a lot of us have lost our jobs and a lot of us ended up quitting our jobs to take care of family kids and the other responsibilities we have in our lives whatever may be the reason the good thing is today we have tons of stay at home mom job options that you can take up and earn a decent living now I'm not going to talk about work from home jobs in India like data entry that pay you little money for tons of hours that you have to put into it or online jobs where you earn 15,000 rupees or 20,000 rupees. I'm going to talk about work from home options that can help you earn much, much, much more than that. A decent full time income which can help you live a reasonable standard of living in India. Two of these options have the potential to earn lakhs of rupees each month. So stay with me till the end because I will go over these stay at home mom jobs in just a bit. Now, before that, take a moment, comment below and let me know why you want to work from home. What is your driving factor? Is it because you want to stay at home or is it because you want to take care of your kids or, and still have a career? What is your driving factor to get a stay at home mom job? For those of you who are new to this channel, I am Chavi, owner of a work from home blog, Mrs. Daku Studio. We make videos on making money and working from home each and every week. So take a moment, hit that red icon below and subscribe to my channel. The first option is to become a freelance writer. You can start out as a content writer in India. Your job would be to research and write an article on the topic that is given to you by your client. Now the best part about freelancing is that you can work with multiple clients. That also means you can take up work which fits your schedule and make more or less money depending upon your availability. That means it is a very flexible job. As a beginner freelancer, you can sign up with websites like Upwork, Freelancer or apply to jobs on freelancing job boards. You can look at detailed video on Upwork and Freelancer by clicking on the button up top. Besides that, you can also reach out to clients directly via email, LinkedIn, Facebook groups, etc. This way you can have more control over your rates. As a freelance writer, you can be paid hourly, per article or per month. It will depend upon what you agree with your client. Now, freelance writing is one of the most flexible, easiest and the high paying stay at home mom jobs. I have a free email course that you can take up. It details everything that you need to do to start as a freelance writer. That is something which I did and made thousands of dollars each month. I will link it in the description box below. So do go check it out and sign up for it. As for the income, you can make thousands of dollars as a freelance writer, just like I mentioned a minute before. I have made over $500 an article and over $3,000 in a month writing for clients globally from India. Now, the second option is to become a blogger. This had to be on the list because blogging allowed me to work from home and make a full time income passively. Now, blogging is difficult to start with and make money. But if you stick with it, if you learn the basics, if you learn at your own pace, you will make money eventually. But yes, you won't make a single penny for the first few months to maybe one year. You don't need a website development degree or knowledge to build a basic blog by yourself. You can start out with WordPress and Elementor, both of which are free, Wix or Squarespace. Now, all you need to do is to pay upfront for your hosting that you can take up with Bluehost and domain name, which comes free with Bluehost for the year. I will link to Bluehost in the description box below so you can click on it and buy your hosting. I will leave the link in the description box below. Once you have designed the blog, which is simpler than it sounds like, you can start writing content on the topic of your liking. So if you like cooking, you can start a food blog. If you like crafts, write about crafts. If you like to teach, do an educational blog. Alongside content now, you will also need to learn search engine optimization and social media to promote and market your blog so you can get the required traffic back to your blog. In terms of income, sky is your limit. You can earn anywhere from 40,000 rupees to 50,000 rupees to lakhs per month. You can watch my video on how I make money blogging by clicking on the button up top. Now the third option is YouTube. There are so many Indian YouTubers who make a full time living off this platform. Kari Minati, Technical Guruji, Saloni Srivastava and there are so, so many more. YouTube allows you to work from home, create content on topics you already love and make money. Now, YouTube, like blogging, also takes time to establish and make money. So for a few months to maybe a year, you won't make anything. 
But once you do, you will make a decent living with it. If I compare it with blogging, YouTube does require you to invest a little bit more money upfront. This is because you need to create good quality videos with, and that will require basic video setup with an HD camera, a few lights, a basic mic, and a basic video editing software. So this is my setup for YouTube. I have a Sony Alpha 6400, which is a mirrorless camera. It has a lot of amazing features, which I'm not going to delve into, but know that it shoots 4K videos, which is top-notch quality. For now, I'm using the native lens, but I will soon be shifting and investing into a Sigma lens, which has the feature to blur the background, and it is called the bokeh effect. To mount this camera, I have a Simplex VCT888RM tall video and photo professional tripod. It is the best investment I've ever made. It was somewhere around 3000 rupees and it is sturdy and I really, really love it. Besides that, I have two mics, which are very important to have a clear video. I use Rode mic, which costed me 5,000 rupees. I had to buy this mic because my camera won't recognize the other mic that I have. It is a Boya mic, which costed me 1300 or something like that. And I love it. You can start with that. I also have a Simplex Studio Light, which comes with all the jars, a light stand, a soft box, AC-DC adapter. This is my primary lighting and it costed me 8,500 from Amazon. I also have a secondary lighting that is Simplex SI30 or dual color LED video light for YouTube videos, which comes with a mount reflector and a diffuser with a white cloth for soft light effect. This costed me around 4,000 rupees. And I got a light stand to mount this from Flipkart at 1000 rupees. Now you don't need to go all out like I have, but if you do have the money, I would recommend you to invest in basic products. It is always good to invest in the right equipment from the start. So you don't have to keep upgrading it, which ultimately would mean more money. Now, once you've reached the monetization thresholds of YouTube, that is 4,000 watch hours and thousand subscribers, you can switch all the ads on your video, which will give you some passive income. But besides that, the majority of income would come from collaborating with brands who pay you anywhere from 10,000 rupees to lakhs per video, depending upon your subscribers, views and engagement. These are also called sponsored videos. And this is one of the best ways to earn money from YouTube. You can also create and sell your own products, which I talk about in the video series where I talk about how to monetize your YouTube channel. Even before you have reached the monetization threshold, you can check it here. The last one I want to talk about is to become a virtual assistant. Virtual assistants, virtual assistant isn't a job in itself. It is an umbrella term, which basically means that you will be helping out business owners in various tasks virtually. You will communicate via emails, texts, or project management platforms. You can offer a wide array of services as a virtual assistant, like proofreading, content writing, content marketing, video editing, video creation, customer service, affiliate marketing management, and so many, many, many more. If you're interested in this, you can grab my free PDF, which not only lists down 200 plus services you can offer as a virtual assistant, but it will also help you understand what you should start with. The link is in the description box below. So go check it out. A virtual assistant can start charging anywhere from $20 per hour and it can go up to hundreds of dollars per hour. Rates that you charge is directly proportional to the amount of skill that is required to finish the job. So for example, creating a successful sales funnel is much more difficult than writing content. So while you can charge for writing content, you can charge double or three times more for creating a sales funnel that works effectively. But whichever service you do decide to offer, you can definitely make a decent money you can definitely make a decent income in a month. Now that is it for today. These are some of the best stay at home mom jobs in India. Do comment below and let me know which one you love the most and which one you're ready to take up and I can create more videos for it. The more you comment, the faster I'll make those videos. Also watch this new video on top careers after lockdown and I will see you next week. Friends, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and I will see you next week.